quick update. Um, I've got a new processor, well, another processor. Um, this time I've got the i7-920. Uh, I've got the 940. There's a lot of stuff on the internet about people saying how they're going to buy the 920 because it's just going to they basically overclock it and it outperform the 940 and the 965. Um, so I thought I'd buy the 920 and I'm going to overclock the processor see if I can beat the 940 and then in maybe a week's time I'm going to buy the 965 and see how that performs so just quickly thought I'd show you this then I am going to pause the video install it and continue uh, overclock ok we've got the i7-920 installed I'm in the BIOS now we're going to um, try overclocking it and um, you can see the clock ratio on the 920 is 20 times which gives it a bit of a disadvantage over the 940 as it has a 22 times multiplier which means you don't need to raise the um, base clock as much to get a higher overclock basically so you need to um, basically raise it a, a bit more to get the same out of the 920 um, so that could be a limiting factor um, first of all I'm going to go into the advanced features I'm going to leave turbo on which gives a 21 multiplier all cores and multi-threading everything else is going to be off speed step virtualization technology QPR link speed I'm going to leave it on auto that will raise up as I raise the base clock same with the Uncore QPI just in case you were wondering the um, Uncore fre frequency needs to be twice the amount of your um, memory multiplier so for instance if you're using a 10 times memory multiplier you'd need to use the 20 on the Uncore if you leave it on auto it will change that for you anyway so you don't really need to worry about it Ok, I'm going to enable base clock control so I can change that and I'm going to whack it straight up to 200 so that gives us a 4 gigahertz straight off performance enhance you've got standard turbo and extreme I'll leave it just on turbo as it is at the minute um, memory multiplier I'm going to leave that on auto load line calibration which is basically v-droop control stick that on CPU voltage I'm going to try one four five I'm just going to go into the advanced control um, CPU VTT QPI I'll leave that on auto I'll leave everything on auto um, QPI PLL 1.4 IOH core which is basically Northbridge 1.4 ICHIO 166 ICH core Southbridge doesn't really need much of a 126 RAM voltage although I'm not running at the 1866 I'm still going to run um, basically at rated spec unfortunately with this board the voltage go up in 2 so there isn't a 165 so you can go either way I'll go 166 Right, okay, now. Jimmy's a wreck. Let's try and boot.
I think that belongs to me. Mm. I'd probably call this a new wall of Shadra. Okay, we're into windows. This doesn't mean it's stable by any means. <laughs> CPUs up. Right, as you can see, because I left turbo on, it bumps it to a 21 multiplier, which gives us a core speed of 4.2, which I just managed to boot it at. I think it was 145 I just did. So that is in Windows 1.424 at 4.2 gigahertz. Now with my 940, it took me 150 in um, in BIOS, which is about 147 in Windows. So this is actually performing a little better. Um, I'm just going to, obviously, we don't know whether this is stable. Getting into Windows doesn't mean it's stable, so I'm going to run Cinebench quickly. Um, see what happens. Are you sure you want to save this event? No, now she's gone. Now I'm going to pull this. There we go. 7 seconds. I'm not going to do anything stupid, I think. I run Cinebench 10. As we keep saying, it doesn't mean it's 100% stable. Um, it could um, actually fail at any point. It could start a game up, it could fail. Um, it might even be minor instabilities where the game will just crash back to desktop. Just silly little things like that. Or could all lead back to instability. The other part. Um, so far, this is actually quite impressive. And 39 seconds, which isn't quite, I think 38 seconds I've got with the 940, but I mean second here there's nothing. Um, what I would use to test the stability 100% would be Prime 95, smaller FTs, usually if it's unstable, these fail normally quite quickly. Obviously it's only a 10 minute video so I'm not going to be able to run um, this for too long. But anyway that's a start I suppose and so far it's actually performing better than my 940. Um, so I'm just going to st stop this video. I'm going to reboot and I'm going to see if I can beat the 940.